careful with log jams because unlike rocks usually solid this can often be rotten it looks like gravel you can go through and you can get trapped so you've got to be really careful changed last time I came up here it was all bedrock and I think one of the log jams broken through up further upstream and all the bedrock you can see all these bedrock gullies these are all bare bedrock and now it's all full of gravel so I don't know if any gold has moved down with it or not but it's quite deep a lot of these channels it was difficult walking when it was slippy bedrock but now it's uh, nice and easy to walk through because it's all full of gravel. So I'm going to revisit the bedrock crevice. Well, I previously got a little bit of gold out two years ago, I'd say. I'm going to re-dig it out it's just to prove if there's gold coming down with the floods, with the floodwaters, or it's just ancient gold. Now, have I dug that out before? It looks worth digging out that does, doesn't it? This is what we've got going on. We've got this bedrock crevice across here. I cleaned it out about two years ago. Probably had a quarter of a gram. Out more out of that side than this side. Spent a lot of time clearing that. Nothing there. It all seems to settle in that corner. Um, since it's been two years, so we're going to see if gold actually is moving down the river in floods. See if there's any in there, because I know I cleaned it out spotless last time. So we've set the sluice up there, and we're going to get shoveling and just get that side down to the bottom as fast as I can. See if there's anything new in the river. Now I know this is all loose material in this crevice because I've obviously cleaned it out before so I'm just shoveling it all through the sluice as quick as possible because most of it will be overburdened and just get to the bottom and see if there is any more new gold there. Now not all rivers are replenishing. Some have just got ancient gold deposits. Some have actually got gold moving down with the floodwaters uh, continually every year. And different rivers have that in different varying degrees or not at all. So that's what we're trying to work out in this one. What's happening here. try and pull the larger material off the shovel before putting it through the sluice as obviously we want smaller rocks going down with the gold. Uh, for a few spades down Hard to see. I'd say there's one speck in there at least. Well, 
Right, I just washed the flake down with a shovel full then, so that just proves to me I've just got to start classifying. We're down to the age-old uh, debate, volumetric efficiency versus acceptable material size. So I just washed the flake out just by shoveling on it. Now, you could call me lazy, I don't generally classify, but uh, it's a, the more you put through, the more chance you've got to get in, is how I think. But then I watched myself wash a flake out here, so then I've decided to classify and sort the size of the material out and feed the sluice with a scoop which obviously takes a lot longer but I'm less likely to lose that flake but overall if I just kept shoveling and put more volumetric efficiency through would I gain more gold in the end it's a it's a debatable subject I tend to just shovel like hell or pump like hell and just get more through but then when you lose a bit of gold from doing that you think well I should be classifying this and taking my time so we did a bit of both today, I don't know what your opinions on the subject are, you can leave it in the comments, it's an interesting theory. Three buckets, or three pans into the sluice, you can see at least one speck there, you can clean out and see if there's much any more. Set a sluice correct, it should just hold itself. But I always put a stone in case it just gets a wave or something. Let's see if we've got more than one speck. Two specks, maybe three. I definitely washed a bigger one out. I, I made the mistake of just shoveling straight onto it. And that sluice is too small. The bigger stones just help the bigger gold wash out. And that's my own fault and we, we know that. I just uh, don't know why I do it. Well, I spent a good couple hours digging that crevice out. A bit of bobin's fallen back in, but I did clean it well and uh, a couple of pockets next to it, four specks I think. So there's not much gold travelling down the river. Two years and there's four specks more than last time I cleaned it out. So uh, not a lot travelling in this river. And what a bit of a waste of time really, so we've got to move on, try and find a new location. Today then, but uh, nice specs. The ones I did get. Mm -hmm. 